What's up, gamers? I'm John. And this is my level up news, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, April 29, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Destiny YouTuber Daddle's popular series where he helps out fellow content creators and streamers clear out their limited vault space of weapons that have seemed obsolete took an unexpected turn with Bungie's announcement reversing the 2020 mass weapon sunset. In response, Daddle replied with a tongue-in-cheek apology video in the style of a cancelled YouTube personality, humorously announcing the shutdown of Daddle's vault cleaning LLC and the layoff of all of his employees. A brand new Alien game, Alien Rogue Incursion, is set to be the franchise's first venture into VR, announced for PlayStation VR 2, MetaQuest, and PC VR platforms with a release window of Holiday 2024, developed by Servios, known for titles like Creed Rise to Glory and The Walking Dead Onslaught. The game will be powered by Unreal Engine and promises an original story fully immersed players in the horrors of the Alien universe. While the details of the games are scarce, the announcement evokes comparisons to Creative Assembly's acclaimed Alien Isolation. A new horror game, Digested, is set to hit Steam, introducing players to a unique, terrifying experience. Played via a body cam camera that distorts the field of view, the game throws you into a wooded area where you must navigate your way before being devoured by a giant snake. With randomized target locations, navigation points, and power-ups, each playthrough promises a different and intense survival experience, challenging players to think on their feet and adapt their strategies. The first-person body cam view adds to immersive or making digested a nightmare scenario where you're constantly pursued by a relentless predator. With jump scares and moments of uncertainty, this game is sure to keep horror fans on the edge of their seats, whether they play alone or with friends. Many shoots adventures caught players' attention with this unique premise, blending top-down twin-stick shooter gameplay with Metroidvania-like elements. Playing as a small spaceship in a colorful world under attack from the shadowy villain The Unchosen adds a charming twist to the genre. The Zelda's inspired collectibles, room-based fights, and map explorations feel fresh in the twin-stick farming. The fine-tuned controls and the subtle animation details give the tiny ship a surprising amount of personality making it feel more like a character than a vehicle. Although it's a relatively short game, the prospect of exploring its Elden Ring sized map and engaging with RPG and Souls-like elements has definitely piqued the player's interest. With over 1,500 positive reviews on Steam, Mini Shoots Adventure seems like a delightful addition to the genre and gamers are excited to dive deeper into its quirky world. Plus, the $15 price tag on Steam and availability of demo make it an easy recommendation for anyone looking for a fresh take on the Metrovania-like game. Helldivers 2 and Baldur's Gate 3, two recent standout successes in the gaming world, are more than just sudden hits. They're the culmination of years of dedicated iteration and development. Studios like Arrowhead and Larian Entertainment, the minds behind these games, have spent over a decade refining their craft, taking risks, and pursuing similar creative visions until they've reached success. Arrowhead's journey from Magicka to Helldivers 2 and Larian's evolution from Divine Divinity to Baldur's Gate 3 are testaments to the power of preservation and creative freedom in the game development. With the ability to hold onto their developers and maintain creative control over their projects, these studios have crafted masterpieces that have captivated players worldwide. The success of Qualtus Gate 3 and Helldivers 2 are not only highlighting the achievements of these studios, but also pose a compelling question. How many more successes could the gaming industry achieve if more developers were given the opportunity to follow their creative instincts and refine their craft over time? And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.